I'm glad you stayed on news. Now, uh, sometime Saturday, we heard of the death of uh, Ghana's uh, international designer, fashion designer, Kofi Ansa. And over the telephone now is Kofi Otre Dako, KOD for short, one of Ghana's, uh, one of Ghana's uh, fashion icons. And just before I speak with KOD, uh, let's take a, a story we did here on news this for Kofi Ansa. From cardiac arrest to suspected contract killings, and well, last breath one takes when sleep becomes endless. Ghana this year has seen many stars wither into the land of the dead. From Professor Rama Adi of the Science and Math Squares fame, through to Joy FM's and BBC's Komla Dumont, Metro TV's Samuel Hesse, and of course, Rooney Coaches of Bookback fame, Fennec Autry, who managed called Kesse, and another journalist, a mother who never heard the cry of her baby, Vida Batma and Kam Okain of Pravda Radio, as if that was all, death strode through the country and took away what we loved again. Fashion designer Kofi Ansan died yesterday. We may be in the fifth month of the year 2014, but the strings of death of many celebrities in Ghana continue to keep many wondering. One may not understand nature, well, God, but the pain of losing those we cherish leaves room for widespread speculations. Take, for instance, the various prophets that had predicted some of these deaths. Just thinking, is it time they are listened to? And well, can they prevent them at all? Until then, we mourn and celebrate those that smile and place clothes on us and those that sang for us but death has taken them away. Right, and so uh, that, that's, that's, that's what we, we did for a lot of the high-profile deaths we've experienced uh, just barely halfway through uh, 2014. Over the telephone now is radio show host, fashion icon, uh, Kofi Autry Darko. Thank you very much for your time here, KOD. Um, good morning. How are you doing? I'm well, I'm well. But uh, hearing all these things again just flashes back all the uh, sad moments I, I, I experienced when uh, the news came out of the deaths of these people. But then yeah. again, we, we met with another big one, especially for the fashion industry, Kofi Ansa. I, it, it, I, I, I know it's not such a good thing to hear, but tell us. Uh, what was your initial reaction when you heard this? There was sort of disbelief and anger, you know, wondering what is happening. I'm actually on air as we speak, and Kofi and I are supposed to be my guest this morning on, on, a, on, a, on my radio show. And also to record him um, for my TV show, Hanging Out with KOD. I was meant to have been on the show with him uh, on Vast at one a couple of days, but I think sometime last week as well. You know, we've been... We've been talking, and Kofi is someone who's really been there for all, all the youngsters in the in the fashion industry, especially. I mean, he's someone that I, I, I really looked up to. I, I spent a lot of time with him, and he's also very passionate about seeing other young people grow um, um, in the fashion industry. So um, his loss is a big blow to the entire um, fashion industry in Ghana because Kofi Ansa is a single individual who represents Ghana and the rest of the world, fashion-wise. Mm. So it's a, it's a it's a major blow to all of us. Uh, absolutely, I, I I know I know you have to go brief uh, briefly, but let let's just invite Kojo into this conversation. Kojo Frimpong is also host of Boys Boys on Vast at mm. One and mm. a former Joy FM sports presenter. Thank you very much, Kojo. Yeah, hello. Kojo, I understand you hosted Kofi on Friday. Well, I mean the show is recorded, and KOD is absolutely right, Kofi. Good morning to you. You know, KOD is my brother. Morning. Uh, it's such a pity that you did not turn up for the show. But I know. I, I, I am feeling pretty bad about that because I should have been on that show together with yeah, Dan Kofi. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we had Kofi on, and um, on Boys Boys this season, we have something we call the lookbook. So the lookbook is a series of how, you know, you can, you can outsmart yourself. Mm. By, by paying attention to your wardrobe. So you look sharper than you actually are. 
and Kofi Anso was helping us with our logbook. So that's how come he was on the last, he was on last Thursday's edition of Voice Boys because he had done a series of logbooks and we're just playing it back. But in essence, we're with him about two weeks ago where he sat through the studio graciously. You know, Kofi doesn't do a lot of interviews and uh, he's very particular about who he's lending his knowledge to. And so for someone like KOD, if Kofi Ansat meant to impart uh, to an KOD, what it, what it meant was that, or what it means is that he sees potential in KOD, mm. that he can stand up and face the sun. And that's why yeah, Kofi Ansat would, 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 would dote on someone like KOD. So I would say that even though he's passed, KOD should prepare to take up the mantle because if he was dealing with Kofi Ansa, then obviously uh, Kofi saw potential. And, and it, 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 it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, Kojo, because, you know, Kofi Ansa, like I said earlier on, is the one single individual who was the bridge between Ghana and the rest of the world, fashion-wise. Mm. And um, he's maybe next to Fabia and her brother, Fabia Kofi and her brother Nene, is one person who sold Ghana's king to across the world. And, and, you know. and, so and here's, here's what I'm him, thinking, gentlemen. Yeah. From, from a few of the interviews I, I had with, uh, with Kofi Ansa, he, he tried to champion or he, he let the cause for taking Ghana's uh, fashion industry at the top, especially when it came to patent. Uh, he, he spoke passionately about how we needed to patent our designs internationally. He, he now, did, yeah. now that he's gone, uh, what then happens to the fashion industry? You, you well, know, uh, Kemeni, the truth of the matter is that it's become trite these days when people say, oh, his loss is, uh, or his passing is such a great loss. It's almost meaningless. But in Kofi Ansa's case, his loss is a great deal. I'll tell you why. He's one of those individuals who, when they wake up, they think, what can I do today that will be a public announcement on quality? What can I do today that will be a billboard for Ghana to say we are here and that we belong and that what we're doing is different and that what we have actually done will put, is put a lot of thinking into what we're doing. You know, these are attributes that Kofi Ansa kind of, he, he just left them. He lived by these quotes that he just wouldn't do anything. If you're going to do it, do it well. And it's not just because it's past. Look, I'll tell you the honest truth. I don't watch a lot of boys' boys because sometimes I'll be away and, you know, and sometimes you've already seen your are there recording. But I was keen to watch Kofi Ansa's edit. Why? Because he has this critical mindset. So I, I, when I finished watching the show, I called him and I said, Legend, we showed it. What did you think? And he said, I thought it was fabulous. You can't could you for could you for for Kojo, um, Kofi Ansa to say it's fabulous, that's a rare thing to come from him because you, he's a yes, critique of it. He criticizes himself. Absolutely. You can't believe the kind of relief I felt. Yeah. Kofi Ansa of all people said it was fabulous. And every time you spoke with him, you would think, oh, this guy is a fashion guy. But he was a paragon of knowledge. He would discuss. In fact, I went to Kofi Ansa's office. The moment I get in there, all that was playing on the radio, and all that's playing from his sound system, just black, mm. across the key. Uh, I'm like, yo, but he, has, he says, I need peace of his work. That's why I listen to this. So he was stretched in many quarters. He was stretched in many fields. And he was really educated in these fields. Mm. And that's the kind of quality that he sought to impart to people. Absolutely. That, look, so, so if you're going to be this, you better be that mm. and be more, you know, that... When life, life is a test, you've got to give up your best. So, no so K.O.D., uh, yeah. you are directly in the fashion business with mm. your 1957 yeah. clothing yeah. line. Yeah. How bad is his death for the fashion industry? There's no single individual in Ghana, fashion-wise, who is connected to the rest of the world in terms of fashion. Who knows all those who matter in the fashion industry? But He's the only single individual. Now, whenever we've gotten people from major um, fashion houses worldwide coming this way, it's because of Kofi Ansa. And the unfortunate thing is, 
he's always had plans of doing things with other people. I, I see Kofi and Sal on, on weekly basis because he buys he buys fabrics from us. You know, so he's someone I see on, I mean, at least twice a week. So um, his loss really is something that we, we, we <laughs> like we just said, we, 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 we it's, 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 it's such a big blow that we, we can't even describe what it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty severe. Especially I, I, to the fashion industry. And like Kuju said, he is one person, he's not only knowledgeable in the field of, of politics. Kofi Ansa is an all-rounder. He could be talking politics today and talking uh, music. I mean, look at the kind of background he can, where he comes from. He comes from a family of people who are very knowledgeable in the art. Kwao Ansa, his son, his nephew, Mensa, his um, brother, um, Tumi Ansa, who is undoubtedly one of the finest um, guitarists in the world, his, his um, nephew, Kweku Ansa, who does Canoe Magazine. That's the kind of family he, 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 he comes from. Very knowledgeable in, in, in the fields of arts and whatever. He's an all-rounder. We, we, we can't put, mm. um, 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 uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a major loss. It's a major loss to all I, of us. I, I, I agree it's a major loss. But we would want to be grateful for the time he spent with no, us. I mean, tell me, tell me, tell me just, just to add to what, uh, and I think it's important that we express this. You know, all businesses globally, they are peer businesses. You know, and nothing more than the fashion industry. So if you say, if you are, if you were Anna Winter who has spent 25 years in fashion mm. as editor of Vogue magazine, then within that 25 years you've seen you you've given birth to designers, you've spoken to the biggest designers. So anybody that you want on your team, you can have. That's yeah. a bit like Kofiansa. He spent a lifetime in this industry. So he can pick up a phone and call House of Chanel. He can pick up a phone and call LVMH because he's met them before. Mm. And this, when, when you are 62 as a designer globally, this is when you flourish. You don't flourish as a designer when you're 45. You don't exactly. flourish as a designer when you're 43. It is when you're 62, going on to 70, going on to 75, because then you really become a paragon of the knowledge. And mm. that is why... The time that we need him most, the time that he's talking about elevating Accra with the weak in fashion, the time that he's talking about bringing designers to us, this is the time that his heart chooses to fail. And that's the biggest loss that we find. And could you, I think, I think Kofi's um, loss is, is beyond that of Ghana because the kind of prominence and uh, reverence he has across the continent is something we can't even um, um, imagine. People really have so much respect for him. Like he's, He's touted as the, the, the father of fashion in Africa right now. This is a major loss to not just us, but the uh, entire continent. Absolutely. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your time. You're I've been welcome. talking to uh, radio show host Kofi Otre Dako and uh, TV show host Kojo Frimpo on the death of Kofi Ansa. Meanwhile, Tanwa Sasaku Ansa, the youngest of three children and only daughter of uh, uh, a eighth fashion designer Kofi Ansa has paid glowing tribute to him. Kofi Ansa, who was one of Ghana's few designers to have gained international recognition, died Saturday morning at the Hollywood Teaching Hospital. The family is yet to announce the cause of death. Tanwa Sasriku Ansa, who is currently in the UK, said her dad was her ultimate inspiration and his death has left her with little hope for the future. Now these are her words. A true legend and master of his craft died. My father and my ultimate inspiration, I know you loved me deeply as I did you. And a huge hole in my future has been left upon your person. Know that my strive for greatness in my life has only been fueled by your person love always right those are her uh, words to her father upon his passing but sadly again former member of parliament for evaluate jura kojo omar has died he passed away sunday morning at a hospital where he was receiving treatment 
Juan Ailment. The former CPP legislator first went to Parliament in 1996 to 2000. He returned to the House in 2004 to 2008. Ama was also the municipal chief executive for Enzima East from 2000 to 2004. He was a lawyer and owner of Ancobra FM 100.9 based in Axim. He left behind a wife and three children.